watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany DeFran with your midday news break. Welcome to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany DeFran. Let's get started with today's midday news break. Now we're talking about a few incidents involving gun violence, so here's an update on a few. Over in East Texas, a convicted killer is formally sentenced. Sabine County District Judge sentenced Matthew Edgar to 99 years in prison. Meanwhile, in Belize, two brothers were arrested for the shooting death of a 23-year-old LSU nursing student, Jabria Bowens. And then closer to home, a shooting on Linwood Avenue around 9.15 Tuesday evening where three people were shot. Shreveport police received the call from a resident in the neighborhood. SPD found two males and a female with gunshot wounds, but a suspect has not been identified. And SPD also responded to another shooting over in North Market Street around 3 a.m., where a man was walking near the Popeyes and Raceway gas station when he was approached by another individual who shot him out of nowhere. The individual with the gunshot wound is expected to survive. Call Crime Stoppers if you have any information. All right, now in a safety matters report, last year more than 4,000 cars were stolen in New Orleans. And on Christmas Day, one man fell victim but took matters into his own hands. Now, this footage captures the exact moment a man leaves his car running unattended for only a moment when someone tries to steal it. The victim sees what's happening and he quickly acts for standing in front of the car, but then gets hit. He then throws a pot or a cup actually of gumbo to distract the driver, reaching on top of the car through the sunroof to wrestle the suspect after a short struggle the suspect gets out of the car and drives off now what a scary situation there and what a brave individual now while the victim successfully stopped his car from being stolen experts say no one should ever take matters like this into their own hands take a listen for you and everyone else involved in this situation get as much information as you can try and get a good description of the perpetrators and let them go again it's property it can be replaced and later the victim did admit that it was not the best decision in highness sight but says that he's fed up with crime in his city and now we're turning to your national headlines here to check on the condition of Buffalo Bill safety DeMar Hamlin. He nearly died on the field at Monday night's game in Cincinnati, and sources close to the athlete say he is improving. Hamlin's uncle Dorian Glenn says that DeMar was originally on 100% oxygen and that the level is now down to 50%. So that is great news that he is improving. Hamlin was hit in the chest while making a tackle. Moments later, he collapsed and then received CPR immediately on the field. So when we look more into this, what exactly happened to Hamlin on the field? According to a local expert, if someone suddenly collapses from cardiac arrest, it may be reserved if CPR is performed and a defibrillator shocks the heart. Research says that early delivery of shock with a defibrillator plus CPR with three to five minutes of the collapse greatly boosts survival rates. And a defibrillator can even be used without any prior training, which is good anyone can use that. After Hamlin's collapse the GoFundMe page for that he has set for his charity toy drive actually received a wave of support hamlin set up the charity in 2020 and the goal of raising 2500 dollars to buy christmas presents for children now the last time that i checked it was 6.3 million dollars that has been donated to his charity in support of all the things and great things that he's doing um, while he is recovering now let's look over to your medical headlines here as a new ruling from the FDA will allow pharmacies to offer abortion pills. All right, and this is going to lead us to our question of the day. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to let you take down this QR code you see right here on your screen while we jump in today's question of the day. All right, today's question of the day is, should Texas lawmakers prioritize restoring abortion rights in this state in 2023? Tell us what you think here by voting using that QR code. It looks like our voters have responded and so far 63% agree while 37% disagree. More to come on your midday news break in just a moment.
watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany Dufran with your midday news break. Welcome back to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany Dufran with more on your midday news break. 2022 brought more clues and possibly some closure for families with missing loved ones in the Arklatex. We're taking a look back at some of the partially solved cases and the information that was needed to close them. NBC6's Alexandra Meacham reports. The disappearance of a Blanchard man remained a mystery for seven years until 2022. Kenneth Wayne Cole was 32 years old when he was reported missing by family members in November of 2015. He had purchased a plane ticket for Las Vegas, but never made it there. And his car was found parked outside the Goodwill store off West 70th for two months afterwards. We followed up with the airports and the airlines and all of them, and they, none of them had any video footage. He never got on the plane. The Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office continued to investigate when new clues came. Earlier this year, a skull was found in a wooded area off Financial Plaza near the airport. The face's lap identified it as Cole. No other remains were found at the scene, and how he died is still a mystery. In Panola County, 2022 brought some closure to the disappearance of Lauren Elizabeth Thompson. Thompson was 32 at the time she went missing in 2019 in the Rock Hill community. She called 911 and told police she was in a wooded area and thought someone was chasing her. Over the summer, work crews found skeletal remains that were later identified as Thompson. Her cause of death is still being investigated. Our office will be diligent on pursuing all relevant investigative leads. In Shreveport, police hope new surveillance video will bring clues to a 2018 cold case. Investigators say Justin Kemp and an acquaintance were parked outside a gas station on Juwella Avenue when someone shot up their car. Kemp died in the hospital months later from his injuries. Police are still looking for who is responsible. Then there's the 2020 murder case of Derek Patterson. Shreveport police say he was shot to death in his bedroom at the Bayou Oaks Apartments where he lived with his older brother. For him not to be messing with nobody and be in the house like he do, it's like, who would want to do that to an uh, innocent person? In Natchitoches, the fatal shooting of Kimanisha Carter remains unsolved. She was killed in a drive-by shooting this year. It deserved it. I wanted Saab. I needed Saab as bad, you know. Somebody needs to pay for what they did to my daughter. Law enforcement on each of these cases say a tip to Crime Stoppers could make the difference. Alexandra Meacham, NBC6 News. And that was Alexandra Meacham reporting there. Now, meanwhile, the Bienville Parish Sheriff's Office is currently asking for help in finding a missing woman who may have been a witness to a murder. They're searching for the 43-year-old Kimberly Moore. She was living with 59-year-old Vernon Parker, who was found shot to death in the backseat of his car in Ringgold the morning of January 1st. Now, Parker hasn't been seen since the murder. If you have any information, they're asking if you can call the Bienville Parish Sheriff's Office if you've seen her. And now returning to your medical headlines here with a ruling from the FDA that will allow pharmacies to offer abortion pills. That leads us to our question of the day. All right, let's take a look here. Should Texas lawmakers prioritize restoring abortion rights in the state in 2023? Looks like 63% agree, while 37% disagree. Tell us what you think here by voting using that QR code you see right there on your screen. For more details on these stories, head to ktalnews.com or download the News Now app for push notifications. See you next time.